So that was uh, Best Mistake by Seaway, who is also playing that Pure Noise Records tour. Pat said something, but he always waits until I put my headphones on to start talking to me. Uh, I think he likes to be yelled at. Uh, this, this is my theory. Anyway, so no, we're back. This is most super fun local show live, broadcasting live, I should say, from Millennium Student Center at UMSL. I'm here with Zach Shaw from The Weekend Routine, and he's going to play us a little song. So uh, what is this called? Uh, this song is called This Kind of Thing Never Happens in Movies. This Kind of Thing Never Happens in the Movies. All righty. So I will uh, get you uh, ready to go and uh, go ahead and, and whenever you're ready. clean with everything I'm feeling and I lose myself in a familiar place just to find more time that we can waste let's take it back to the beginning I need a chance to breathe I know it's not good for me but I'm holding on just to see if this is really what you want from me Trying to wake up from another nightmare Don't know how much more I can bear But I'm holding on Just to see if this is really all you want from me Aching on my front porch Wishing that you would be here How much of this can I take for my body will break I'll back up all my things And never fall in between And maybe you'll see I think I've got it real bad Oh Yay, so, so uh no, that's actually I it's one of my favorite songs uh off the EP. Um and uh I've played a couple times on my 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 like music show. Mm-hmm. Uh but uh no you you used to be in like choir and stuff too when you were in high school and everything. Is that yeah, yeah? um I was in men's ensemble in a cappella for a little while. So is that I would imagine it's a whole different kind oh, of yeah. singing. Like yeah. does it come into play at all though? And like I'm sure it would help with like breath um, control and at least It definitely w- yeah, it taught me uh that and warming up, which was like a big thing. So Which is you did not do for this show today, really? A little bit. I mean I do it in the car. Like, okay. a little bit. Well that's you fair know, then. Me, 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 ma, ma, ma. You know, yeah. like the- <laughs> Oh no, I I actually did choir too and uh yeah. and musical theater, not a lot of people know that about me, but uh for, for many, many years. 
But uh, so yeah, I I know the importance of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the the lemon honey uh shots. And, yeah, yeah. And I, all oh, the... I still do that. Stuff. Oh no, dude, it's so important. People yeah. don't realize. Uh, they think whiskey works, and I'm mean, well, maybe if it's American Ooh, honey, American maybe. honey, maybe yeah. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, you know, I can't really uh say that that's good for your voice unless you're yeah. trying to do a Dickie Barrett, Mighty Mighty <laughs> Boss tone sound. Yeah, I mean, like every time uh I record vocals, I always have tea and honey. Like it's just. It's just like second nature. Like you have to. I feel like I have to do it. Like it just. It just makes a whole world of difference. It. it I. I. I agree. Um. And I mean, I don't sing, but like that's. I'm always there. Like if somebody's voice is cracking on stage, I'm the first one there with a cup of water for them or whatever. Because mm-hmm. it's always. It may not be that that's the issue, but if it is, I don't want them to have to go without. Um. So that's. I mean, it just seems like it's something that. That's really important. Um. Is for a vocalist. Yes. But I mean, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I, what do I know? But no, yeah. So th- you, uh, St. Louis, uh, you guys, you've been around for a couple years, you yeah. said. And uh, I figured we could talk about um, what other like local acts you've been, you know, getting into that are more recent, or what are like some of your favorite local bands besides for like the friend aspect? Because I know that that probably you guys are a community um, of uh, yourselves, but I know you're you you're you're close with the guys in uh, the form of me, kind yeah. of, and um. No, like, I think it's cool how uh, I don't really look at the St. Louis scene as just, like, a local scene. Like, I feel like all these bands have potential to break out of St. Louis. And uh, um, one of the first bands that really, I mean, I was listening to local music, like, you know, 10 years ago, like, when it was really, uh, really, like, in in, um, the forefront of everybody. And, like, people used to just do that and go hang out at local shows. And um, I had a few, like, my... My friend's, like, girlfriend's boyfriend was in a band, like, years ago. I used to go see them. And then, um, um, like, recently, I really am into, uh, uh, well, one of the first bands that got me into uh, when we were in the band, La Bella Charade, I was into really big. Um, you know, like, I listened to them before we actually played with them and became friends with them. And then um, I met, like, Equal Squeeze guys, um, the of course the four me guys I, we've played all around and then uh i'm really digging inner outlines they've uh they've come a long way in the past like year i've known them and it's just cool to see them grow and uh their new music is insane so i i think everybody needs to check the inner outlines guys out there they are making a lot of headway uh it's been right around a year ago actually mm-hmm. they made a big post on facebook yeah, today I saw that. yeah I saw we were we, i think we were both uh-huh. tagged in it and it was uh yeah they they played that show with tear out the heart and that really, uh, they I met them first yep, then, and that's you where know, I met them too. yeah, like that. That was crazy. That was the one where Dylan was hanging from the rafters. Yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, I figure we, we'll go ahead and play some of their music. So uh, we'll we'll start off with some inner outlines. We'll play another uh, local track by another local band. But uh, yeah, this is their newest single that they've got released. Uh, good for me. It's really so yeah, good uh, for me. Really the good. The Dirty me. Drews. Yeah, it's good for everybody. The Dirty Drews and uh, Cody and Matt. Hi. From me and from Zach. Hi. And I hope you're listening in. This is Good For Me by Inner Outlines. (laughs) 